welcome to week five of our at-home karate class. This week, before we start class, I'd like you to think about some of our philosophy. Philosophy is a word that means the way that we think about things. So, for example, we use things like our eight key concepts to talk about different things you can work on that will help you become both a better martial artist and overall a better person. Although philosophy is considered an idea of how we should act and behave, our Mudokan philosophy is an action philosophy. So you often heard your teacher say that you have to demonstrate what you're practicing. We can't just talk about courage, we have to actually show our courage. So that could be the form of a loud key up, or that could be doing a technique you've never done before without worrying about it too much. Just give it a try. So remember, we have to put what we are talking about into practice, into our actions. It also takes courage to do something new at home or at school. So I know many of our students are doing what we call homeschooling or online schooling for the first time. They've never done that before. And so that takes a different kind of courage to try something new and to kind of stick with it and see how it works. What I'd like you to try to put into practice this week is one of our eight key concepts, one of the five Mudo values, or one of the 10 articles of faith. This is our gut manual, and in this book, you will find all of those concepts described and written about and examples given. So. This would be a good place to start if you haven't thought much about the eight key concepts. For example, they're here in the book and you can look at them and talk about them with your family and see which one is something you could maybe work on this week. The five Mudo values are on page 40. The eight key concepts are on page 47. And the 10 articles of faith are on page 49 of the gut manual. And if you don't have the gut manual, like the one I'm holding, then let me know and I can send you that information um, in an email. As always, I miss seeing you all and I hope that you get in touch, whether you use the phone, a text, an email, or a Facebook message, I'd love to hear from you. And I'd love to know which part of our philosophy you chose to focus on this week. So please do let me know how you're doing. And if you have any questions or concerns that I can help with, please just let me know.